Hey there, Star Wars fans. It's your favourite smuggler, Jay, also known as Fox. And today we're diving back into a galaxy far, far away for another exciting episode of my Star Wars Outlaws Let's Play series. I hope you've all been well and you're ready to join me in this intergalactic adventure. Just a reminder, before we jump into the action, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the post notification bell so you never miss out on any of my future adventures and Let's Play series. And for my loyal subscribers, I thank you for your incredible support. Your comments and suggestions mean the galaxy to me. Pardon that horrible pun. But all right, let's get into this and let's get into the action. So here we are back at the ship after doing Jabba's favor, which was quite a good quest. And as you can see, our crew here is starting to build up nicely. And we are getting our crew together for the eventual heist. That we will be undertaking. Clean Nix's mess. What is this? Broken mechanical lever. New minor charm. New. Oh, that's quite interesting. I do like the way um, a lot of the mechanics and stuff are tied in with like real world things in the game. It's pretty good. Charms. We have some charms here. Nix is more ferocious in combat. Oh, okay. So these are quite interesting. What do we have here? Gain more adrenaline when defeating an enemy distracted. So these are charms that we picked up during our travels. We do not seem to have them all. Or maybe there's a cap on how many we can actually equip. I think we've already got that one down. We've also got a new outlaw belt. Outlaw gear specifically. I think we can only equip three items in totality. As, um, I think they do have stats and whatnot. But I'll never, ever take the forest hood off uh, Nyx. Makes him look like an Ewok. Absolutely awesome. Let's just have a look here. So, yeah, we're still going to use our forest commando poncho. Obviously, a big shout out to Return of the Jedi. And the planet, the moon of Endor. Now, we are supposed to have something to pick up here to modify our blaster in somewhere. I can't seem to find it. There is usually a delivery terminal as well. Okay. Call Jalen when you have a moment. So he wants us to call Jalen. So we'll go to the hollow terminal. So the hollow table is not actually available. A little bit strange. Is there a hollow call as well? So he does what's called Jalen, but at the moment there doesn't appear to be any contracts available it would seem so we're going to go back out onto Tatooine and see what missions are currently available hold up, hold up, delivery crate oh here we are so we got blaster recirculation materials and we also got some outlaw pants from the last mission we will equip them momentarily Let's just see what we get for these. Deal more damage and regenerate health over time. We'll have full adrenaline. Okay, that's pretty cool. They look pretty badass as well, not going to lie. They don't kind of fit in with anything we're currently wearing, though, sadly. We will just keep the poncho on for now. We will use the pants as the passive is quite good. Jalen still wants to talk over Hollow. So we will modify our blaster here. So we have got five upgrades ready. So what is this? Improved heat capacity. The blaster can fire more shots before overheating. This is locked at the bottom. Uh, super cooling adds a new window of opportunity during the cooling. Probably time super cool. Blaster temporarily preventing heat buildup. That's quite good. 
Rate of fire reduces time between shots. That's quite good as well. Hmm, a lot of options here. We will go with a rapid fire um, heat capacity, I think. As in combat, it can be quite useful. And, uh, hmm. Effective against shields and droids. Ah, so we can use this against shields, right? So that could be very useful also, as we have been using grenades to check out the shield guys, the shieldy boys. So that might be actually very, very useful. So we'll uh, definitely upgrade that. Right, let's move out here. So we need to have a look around and see what our next move is here. So we have got some new contacts here, which also give us unlocks. Nix alerts K to nearby containers. You never miss out on a scavenging opportunity. Very, very nice. Smuggle a drop off smoke bomb compressor in a mound of the bull. Right, okay. Crimson Dawn is a stockpile of Jura fab fabric in one of the hideouts of Tashara. So these are sort of the requirements, what we need to be doing for each. And they all augment certain aspects of your character, which is quite good. Uh, they all have different unlock um, requirements and whatnot. You can also track them. So there's any specifically that you want. Um, you can track these. I'm just having a little bit of a look through these. There are some interesting ones for sure. Right. So we do have our main quest line. With the high crew almost complete, Kane and D5 set out to find another slicer. So we can get on with that. But I'm not entirely... sure how we trigger this unless I was at the wrong hollow terminal or perhaps we are still waiting to hear from you so we just keep saying that Jalen's waiting to hear from me but I don't know how we actually trigger it do we just take off or I mean perhaps we do just take off We made it off planet. Ah, so there we go. It has triggered the conversation. Thanks. On the bright side, I worked it out with that bounty hunter. Maybe, I think. Trust is a trap, Kay. Now, I've been chasing down a lead for a second slicer. I'll keep an ear out for some muscle. Maybe we don't need two slicers. I can do it myself. <laughs> Even you can't be in two places at once. I'll take care of things on my side, Kay. You focus on yours. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Now, I have spoke about this in prior episodes. How it can be a little bit confusing. Gonna check out some of these ships here. How it can be a tad bit confusing on how things work. I know. So we did say that we need to speak to Jalen on the hollow terminal. Although the only way we could actually make this happen was by actually flying back into space, which I find kind of strange. We are trying to take out this big pirate ship here. Whoa, we are in trouble. Big time. We've got shields. We're taking hits. My God, this thing's hard to set down. Oh, 
Oh, no. Wow. So we are going to need an upgrade on the ship, I feel, to check these out. So let's just have a look here. So it is actually saying now that we are going to have to go to Akiva. Now, I do wonder, can we just fast travel here from space? Okay, yeah, we can. That's kind of strange, right? Some very, very strange design choices with, uh, with this game. Outlaw Jacket, Survive Jabber. So we basically just skipped over completely traveling through space, which I do find a tad bit weird. Um, but nonetheless, here we are. So we are going to be making our way. So for some reason, it hasn't even teleported us to the space dock. Like I said, some great ideas and tools here. And the, it's got the bones of a great game. It's just not very well executed in a lot of ways. But when it shines, it shines bright. Really does. Now we just need to find the best slicer in the galaxy. We have several candidates. Initiate Project Deadfall. Today, X, three, nine, four, and D, D, five, seven, 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 seven. Cascading systems failure. Best guess, he needs a compound regulator, but he's a museum piece. Okay, what's happening? I can't see. Oh no, ND5. I say this, but isn't he programmed to blast you if we go against Jalen's plans? This is your chance. No. Try again. Okay. There's an old factory from the Clone Wars. We need to talk to Temin. Now, Kay. So Kay does have a heart after all. Oh, bless her. She's a big softie, really. So it can be kind of strange how certain quests and missions get activated, as you've witnessed. Um, it's a little bit strange sometimes. But when it's good, it's very, very good. And when it's bad, it's pretty horrid. Now, we did unlock a new jacket here. Yeah, it's not gone straight into our cosmetics. So, I think we have to go to the delivery terminal. And accept it. But I always forget where it is. Jalen's still waiting for that hollow call. Jail is still waiting for the holocaust, but yet we can't currently call him, I don't think. See, yep, still locked off. So where is the delivery box? We've still got a death mark out on our head as well. So there we go. So we have got the final piece of outlaw gear here. Going to get this equipped, actually. This ship's so awkward to navigate. Uh, <laughs> I just completely forget where things are. It's just not a very intuitive layout. That's all. We've got <laughs> bits and bars of debris flying everywhere. Okay. Oh, my God. We're looking pretty badass right now. I'm really digging this outfit, actually. Don't forget, Jalen wants to talk to you. Gotta reach Temmins' shop. Here we go. Hold tight. Off we go. Back at our event. Whoa, 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 whoa. So why is it saying we're leaving the mission area? That's so strange. Right, so we take an ND5 with us, it would appear. Good dig, just 
It's just the way it words certain things. It's just not very clear. Uh, I feel there is a lot of quality of life that should have been baked into this game that's just not there. But I will be outlining this type of thing in my final review of the game. So make sure you subbed up for that content if you are indeed interested in my thoughts and feelings on the game as in, in its entirety. I think the planet designs and the graphics are very beautiful. Uh, some of the best graphics I've ever seen. In a Star Wars game, they're sadly let down by some very poor design choices in the navigation, uh, the questing system. What do we do if Temin can't help? Very ambitious for sure. ND5 is an old droid. He needs a compound regulator from an original BX power core. Please continue to talk like I'm not here. It's enlightening. So like you can see here, it's saying I'm 20 meters away, so I'm checking doors and we're having little to no joy here. This is it. This is it. Let's go. Oh look, C-3PO. Except it's not. It's C-3PO from Wish. How you doing, mate? Listen, kid. Just tell me where I can find K Vess. How about you just walk away instead? K. Well, this should be an easy death mark. <laughs> uh huh. Have you met my battle droid? You think Zarek Besh is afraid of that rust bucket? Hey, Andy, you almost clipped me. BX command unit reported for duty. A working BX unit? I've only seen them in pieces. He's not going to be working for long. His power core is failing and i heard you know where we can get a new one well i was trying to keep it a secret but come on how convenient I'll show you. <laughs> let's go you'll find the factory through the catacombs you wouldn't believe half the stuff i find down there i don't know who decided to build mira on top of a graveyard it's an efficient design Oof. I don't like you when you're busted. So the way to the factory starts in your basement. Why do you think I bought this place? Now it's almost monsoon season, so my usual way is flooded, but hey, you'll figure it out, right? Uh, we have to. Thanks, Temin. Cheers, buddy. Let's get ND5 fixed up here. So, what do you think's buried down here? Don't tell me you're scared of the dark. What? We're not scared. This, like uh, I said, graphically, the light in the nice. game is kind immense. Uh huh. Stay close, okay? A power conduit. It should point the way to the factory. Okay, I trust you. So, can we get through this? Apparently not. So, we can definitely feel that laser upgrade. Blaster upgrade. I keep calling it a laser. I do apologize. Um, let's have a little bit of a look here. Smell something, buddy? So what is this? Did we blow this wall? Is something there? Perhaps we can blow this? We don't have a grenade currently. Perhaps we can blast it. Nice, let's go. Interesting, a little bit of an Easter egg there. I don't know if this is the actual way we need to go. 
try and blast this wall. It's looking like it's just a bit of a secret room here. We need to follow this cable. Got another little bit of a secret room here. Let's go. Okay, now how am I supposed to get up there? This was built by separatists. The factory cannot be far. So we'll probably have to slide through here, perhaps. This is the first time we're actually bringing like our crew with us, um, which I feel that in past episodes, uh, past missions, sorry, it would have been uh, a lot better. And I hope there are more quests with our team. Let's have a look here. Fusion core. We don't currently have one of those, I don't think. What'd you find? We don't have a fusion cutter currently. On, Let's drop that ladder. Hmm, that did it. Nice one, Kate. We're coming. Perhaps Gadi Car ND5 have a fusion cutter. Hopefully that's the case. Oh, dead end. Mm, not for us. I never leave home without my fusion cutter. Nice. Alright, let's go. Someone nearby? Let's have a look here. Hey, hold this open. Whoa. Good. The hell? It's showtime, buddy. Here we go. So we've let them two in. Now, can you get it working? Literally nearly blew ourselves up, though. Oh, nice. We've got some uh, car sweep for the scavenger footwear. That'll come in handy for sure. So it does pay to have a little bit of a route around and have a look for all Gigi, these little loot sure spots. That lift console still works? Short it out. This means you'll have to find another way to power up this turbo lift. There should be an auxiliary console down below. What have you got, Nix? So I do wonder if we could take Gadeek to other planets where there are walled off areas that require a fusion cutter and perhaps use his expertise to break into those as well. Be interesting to find that out. Could do with a back to vial though. Like or so. Nice. Let's go. Let's keep moving forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, dear. Try that one again. We zigged when we should have zagged. We fell when we should have jumped. Unfortunately. Let's go. Okay. Got something next? <laughs> 
timing on those can be so off. Okay, look here. Definitely an interesting system. This is it. You can slice the computer. Here. I do kind of feel that these initially were quite fun. But as the okay. game has progressed, if they do get a little bit long console, in the tooth. Okay. It would have been nice to kind of... Just up some rusted converters. Maybe unlocked a automatic uh, you wanna upgrade. That up? I don't think I'm alone down here. Uh-oh. My god, these little critters are hard to kill. Damn. I did try using my gun ability there, but it wasn't triggering for some oh, well, reason. Dead now. B1 unit 275, respond. B1 unit 699, respond. B1 unit 888 report on your status. I do kind of get the feeling that ND's going to go mental moving. and we're going to end up fighting him. Yes. I knew that. Sneaky suspicion. Uh, power up the gate. All right, let's go. Proximity alert. Get it off of me. What's wrong, Indy? Clone commandos have surrounded our position. Stop shooting! There's nobody here! I got this! <sighs> We're okay. He's in transport stasis. Uh, sure, but that control panel's fused. I'll find another way to get through that door. Here. You might need my fusion cutter. You ever used one of these before? I saw enough of them in the south stretch. Yeah. Good point. I want to see what I can do for ND5. So we're at the droid factory now. We got a fusion cutter now. Nice. So we finally got our own fusion cutter. Should come in handy. I do kind of feel that some of these upgrades have, have come a little bit late in the day. Uh, they would have been kind of useful a lot sooner in the game. To keep things a little bit spicy. Be interested to see where we can actually use this on other planets though. For sure. Think you can open that next? So how on earth do we actually get around there? Okay then. So we've opened this okay. door here. I'm going to cycle ND5 out of stasis. How do we know he won't attack us when you turn him back on? I'm not strong enough to carry him. Are you? <sighs> Fine. Wake him up. How long was I out? Don't worry about it. Just stay with Gadeek, okay? We're in desperate need of a back to vial. I know that for sure. The factory. <laughs> Got something next? As you can see, the ND5. Oh no, these are the. Uh... So he must have been a pre requisite to the troopers that are in the Phantom Menace. Pretty interesting that they've gone down the route of exploring that. 
actually kind of uh, interesting. Makes a lot of sense, actually, that there would be a mark sort of one. Yeah, I can see why Temin kept it secret. I was assembled in a place like this. That's what we're counting on. Hold tight while I get that door open. Question is... Uh oh, that's not good. The question is, how do we actually get down here? Well, there we go. I'm not entirely sure if that was the optimal way to go, but nonetheless, here we are. So it looks like we're going into this way. Shut this down. Whoa. Can we not actually climb up here? Well, there we go. Hooked out a little bit there. But like I've been saying for the entirety of this series, this game is just lacking a little bit of spit and polish. Here and there. I do feel with about 12 months longer to bake and some community feedback it could have been one of the greats i mean it's not terrible by any means it's definitely lacking in some areas oh what do we got here all right let's open the main gate you did it Kay. the gate's opening meet you inside so we've got a little uh, Nyx hey, embroidering on the back of our jacket as well. Looks pretty cool. Well Let's open this. We've got plenty of credits now. All right. seeing this there's got to be hundreds of droids down here it's kind of creepy and there's only one droid down here i care about right now right i'll focus oh, is that the command good deep good deep there gathering over all the robotic parts he's in his element right now getting quite a lot of loot right, down here as well which is nice I mean, this is what I mean about when it shines, it shines utterly bright. I mean, look at this. I mean, there's just parts of this game that are just stunning to behold. Uh-oh, he's having a fit again. Okay, there's no power to this turbo lift. Does anything in here still work? Okay, it's time to contact Caitlin. My internal systems are shutting down. Katik, can you do anything? He needs a stable power source. You need to use a console and get this lift working. Uh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm on it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's hope these robots don't fire up on us. Or we are going to be in a world of trouble. Whoa, how big is this place? Pretty goddamn big. And only spoiled by the simple fact that it was super convenient and built next to in the basement of his workshop. Which I feel is just lazy on their part, to be fair. But nevertheless, it is a sight to behold the world building that is in this game. Okay, let's go. It's pretty cool though to see some throwback to the Clone Wars and the Phantom Menace and whatnot. 
For sure. Uh, can we slide under here? Nice. Feel this slightly overused event mechanic as well. Got a lot of uh, nice loot from here, though, for sure. Plenty of credits and whatnot. Which I'm sure is going to come in useful. We are going to be trying to upgrade the ship so we can take on some more space battles at some point. At least for a little while. Just do what you can, okay? Okay, we need to get power to this console. There's one generator running. Just gotta find a way across the... Got to be careful of these vents here for sure. We have been blown off these in the past. Yep, just as suspected. Really, I'm digging Kay's outlaw outfit. I think it's pretty dope. Make our way across these. Get a strange bit of a frame dip here as well. It's a bit unusual. But onwards and upwards. Whoa. Close call. Let's have a look here. Okay, here you are. Generator number two. So we've got some more traversal options incoming. All right. So we're going to have to drop down onto this platform. Right, distribute power slice. Let's go. As I mentioned earlier, these do get a little bit long in the tooth. I do kind of feel that some sort of automated upgrade could come in useful. Now, there may be one in the game. I'm not entirely sure. Check it out. Looks like we've been followed here. We are going to meet some resistance. Let's pray that they don't activate the droids in the factory. Or we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Oh, this isn't good. Zerg Bash must have followed us in. Um, so we've got to figure out which way to actually go here. Uh-oh, that's not the way. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out which way to go here. Um, a little bit confusing. like we can climb back up here although I don't feel it's going to do us much good good I've got death mark problems Zerg Besh found a way in gotta deal with them first then I'll come find so we're climbing lost him so we can't get underneath there Um, so the only way is up. Let's keep climbing. Um, Take him down 
next. Wait a second. Yeah. Whoa, there's a lot of them. Holy moly. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. So hopefully we are going to be able to deal with this and clean it up. I hope. There we go. Nice. Let's go, baby. We got some back to vials. We got our passive back up. Well, this is not looking good. He's got a yellow mark, which I think means he's immune. So I think we do need to use our whoa, 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 whoa. our other ability here. I do believe yeah so our upgrade did come in useful there thank the maker let's go go to the back to vial uh oh you gotta be kidding me and this is supposed to be a secret base you need to get out of my way you know i came here looking for your help but uh Looks like you might need mine. No, I think one death mark on my back is enough. Don't let them go. Okay. This may be the last BX factory in the outer rim. Jedi infiltrator detected. Alert General Grievous. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> alert General Grievous. Another throwback. What do you need? Two. Yeah, let's capture one of our teams. They're going to sell them to the Empire. You help my friends, and uh, I'll help yours. You cross me again? I'll sell you to the Emperor myself. Deal. Deal. There's a repair bit you can use while we look for the part. Uh, I need to hook him up to the factory power as quickly as possible. Hopefully that still works. Remember. We need a compound regulator, and it has to come from a BX power core. Come on, big guy. When are we leaving? My team's double-checking our intel on the hut's location. We have some supplies. Should think about stocking up. Maybe check in on your droid. Make sure it's got what it needs. His name is ND5. Right? Sorry. There's an old delivery turbo lift we use as an exit. When you're ready, head to the surface. All right, let's go. Yes. My first take on you was mistaken. <sighs> Denyan, if you had told me on Kanto you were trying to help a friend, things might have been different. I'm not interested in talking about it. <laughs> that was fun to watch. They're a big reason I have a death mark. How's Andy? I have hooked him up to factory power, but I don't know how long it will keep him functioning. Do what you can. I'll be back as soon as I help these rebels. Leave the rebel base when ready. And it's looking like we can't quite finish up the work that's required on ND5. Some stuff here if you're interested. Here. <laughs> It's kind of looking like this may be a new base of operation. Well, so we need these for scavenger footwear. We need these for the speeder. So we own a hell of a lot of these components. We are going to invest in the ones... That we don't currently have.
But to be fair, we have got a lot of these. So we should be in pretty good shape. We need to start visiting the vendors and get our speeder and our ship upgraded ASAP. So we're possibly going to have to undertake some more missions before we can get ND5 back on his feet. On the surface. Where are you? On my way to her territory. I'll meet you there. Yes, you will. Meet a Sarah near the Hook Cartel outpost. Quite a distance here as well. 3.1 kilometers. We're better off using our Nicks. speeder. Hold on, Nix. Let's check on the map that we are indeed traveling to at the right location. We seem to be a little bit off track here. She was my sister, and she died at the Battle of Scarab. I'm sorry. It looks hurt. like we need to be pathing down here and check a right. Like I said, some definite quality of life is needed. Your crew left me for dead. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. How did you end up in one of Slero's vaults? Well, uh, Slero's a man with a lot of resources, and I thought I could liberate some for the cause. Yeah, sure, but why send you? You're clearly not that good at it. Maybe. But I do know people who are. Like you. And the rebellion needs everyone it can get if we're going to beat the Empire. I'm in the tunnel territory. You're close then. I'm just up ahead scouting at our target. Are you joking? Causing quite the ruckus here. Like I said, quality of life is a little bit hard to navigate. Some of these missions and where you actually meet people and whatnot. There we go. So hopefully. Sarah's gonna be here. Did say it returns to quest location though. It's a little bit strange. Like I said, it is a little bit bug ridden this game. It has improved in the latest patch, but nonetheless, it does still have a few issues. You made it. Good. We're not too late.
My team's just down there, heading to the cages. <sighs> We're lucky the Huts haven't made the exchange yet. I'm guessing they're worth a lot to the Empire. Those are my friends, Kay. And Andy's mine. Stay out of sight while I do this. The last thing we need is to turn those prisoners into hostages. Yes, sir. I'll scope out an escape route for us. So it looks like we've got to get our way over here. Try not to be detected in the process. We are in a restricted area. It looks like we're going to be helping the rebels after all. Even though we were adamant we were never going to do that. But uh, hey, it is what it is. Here we go. So hopefully we don't run into too many problems here. This is looking rather dodgy. Let's have a look here. Where are the cages at? Got to kind of find out where these cages are here. I wonder if we get saw seen climbing up here. Uh, maybe. Try and sneak this one. We have been epically failing on the old stealth missions. I'm just trying to figure out where the hell. Right. These cages are. Um... That one there. These cages look empty. Let's keep moving forward. Boom. Stealth attack, baby. Got a fair bit of distance to travel here. We are going to try and sneak the best we can. Yeah. Oh, God. We've been sinned. We've been rustled, we've been rumbled. Looks like we're gonna need a little bit more firepower. Uh oh, the alarm's going off. We are in the shit now. Oh my days, we are in a world of trouble here. We not just access this. Wow. Well, so much for the stealth approach. We completely ruined any chance. 
We had it doing that. But we should be able to blast our way through, perhaps. She needs to still find these cages here. I do find that the stealth elements are crazy difficult. There's way too many people to sort of maneuver around. Try and jump down here, see if we can find. We are checking them out slowly but surely. Are these the cages. Like I said, it can be quite. Um, Quite awkward to find what you're actually supposed to be doing on a lot of these missions. the cage here so it looks like it but I'm struggling to get it open so there we go we have blasted our way through We'll somehow figure out how to open these cages though which is the real problem the huts just sent us a serious warning we're on their radar it's fine i know what i'm doing i hope so <laughs> so do i still got literally zero clue how to open these cages or if indeed this is the one we should be doing. So there seems to be some sort of cable in here. So it does go up here. We will follow the cable in and hopefully we can unlock. Here we go. Slicing to open the cages. Let's go. Sarah, the cages are open. Just in time. I do not think on any level that there was anywhere stealth in that mission. Go, baby. Damn it. Let's go. One, two, three more. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that worked. All right, that worked. Oh, we've got a bit of an animation bug here. We're gliding. 
<laughs> Let's go. We've got to escort the rebels out. It does indeed look like we're fighting our way out of it. I do kind of get the feeling that this was impossible to do stealth-wise. I could be wrong, though. Whoa. Whoa. That could a lot of damage here. This ability to check out the droids is definitely coming in handy. All right, let's go. Yeah. All right, let's go out of it. My guess? Ever since we hit him, Slater has been targeting rebels, trading us for influence. Now, okay, you held up your side of the deal. It's time to hold up mine. Goddamn right. You saved a lot of good lives today. You could save a whole lot more. You know what I realized about you rebels? What's that? I got a death mark, a, a half-dead droid, and a crew without a heavy. And all you want to talk about is how I can help you. You're just another syndicate taking what you think is yours. We found the BX regulator, but it doesn't look good. We're on our way. Is ND5 okay? We should hurry. Stay tuned to find out. Hopefully he is. How said they are your hands? Uh, Perfect. That one. Hook it up to the couplings. Quick. But not too quick. Okay. You've got it backwards. <laughs> Here we go. Andy? It's a miracle he lasted this long. Kadik. Let go. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. You gonna start talking? The casino job went bad. What do you want me to say? Heard Gadeek strip that dealer droid's protocols, but it panicked. Triggered an alarm. You knew? Still got a few contacts in the CBPD. Gadeek made a mistake. You think I wanted him to get picked up? You left him behind, Kay. Now he has to choose prison or the Empire. Easy. Gadeek knew the risks, okay? I work better alone. Always have. That sounds like Rico. Not you. I'm done talking. Hard to decide if that was a flashback or a weird dream. You're okay. Did I hurt you? Even if you did, you were broken. No, it's me. Without Jalen's restraining bolt functioning, I'm just a battle droid. Infiltrate and terminate. Nothing else. <laughs> that was you? <laughs> I told him not to. Secrets, contacts, credits. I'm the one who brings them all together. Hey, Kay. We need two slicers, right? Well, here's the best of the best. Not her. A ship? A crew? Big job in the works? Is that my mother? I always knew you could do it. I'm just here to make sure you finish strong. Look, Holy hey, shit. I get it. The plot thickens. The score comes first. We need her. You need her. And that death mark's not going anywhere. Good to have you back, old friend. Oh, 
Huh? Looking forward to catching up, kiddo. Oh, yeah. What a great mother she is. Why are you here? Jalen said you needed firepower, and uh, rebellions aren't cheap, so. Plus, I've got quite the crew going on right now. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, quest completed legacy. And I hope you've enjoyed this phenomenal, quite lengthy episode. And things are coming together very nicely, looking like we're heading on track for this final heist that we have got planned. But if you have enjoyed today's content or made it to this point of the video, do consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up as it does help the channel out massively. We are on the push to 2,000 subscribers. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.